Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to our perfect city of Newwalker. A beautiful walkable paradise in which all of our citizens are living their best lives. And now today, we're gonna finish it up by building the city's main downtown core. So yes, this is gonna be the last episode in the series, but if you wanna check out this entire place, I have the world save available on Patreon. So check that out using the link in the description. As for this whole downtown core though, it's actually gonna be pretty straightforward. We have systems upon systems layered into this city from bike paths to road networks and what have you. So what we're doing today is really tying a nice bow on the city. But to get started, first things first, we gotta mess with the terrain while maintaining the shape of things as best we can. But the idea here is I want to have a lower, closer to the ocean zone. But I also want to separate us upper district with like the busy work kind of stuff. And then we'll section it all off with a bunch of inland keys. But we'll have one on the ocean as well. But as best as I can, I want to follow the terrain and keep a bit of a natural coastline going. And of course, on the seawall, we have to have a walking path. This is the city of Newwalker, isn't it? Yep, the key is done, the walking path is in, and sections are cordoned off. So now we can go in and add in all the rest of the roads here. And like I said, we're just tying a bow on this project. All of our systems are already established. We have main roads already going through the city, so they're just going to continue on their merry way right into the central core of things. Our big concern is going to be traffic. We're going to have a lot of population and things going on down here, but we're only going to have this main road and then an entryway main road over here. So it's gonna get busy, busy, busy. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, we're gonna have the highway entrance here, so most of the traffic will filter in this way, and we'll have to build a roundabout to handle the high volume traffic. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's so cursed. With this one-way road, I wanna have a lot of the critical necessities taking it. So garbage trucks will head down here, We'll have a massive fire station for the core city. Then we'll sneak in some death care too, generally. And to connect this all into the rest of the district, I'm gonna build kind of a road specifically for utilities. I guess a utility road, you might call it. It goes all the way down over this way. And then I suppose we'll just hook it up over here. And that should help out for a variety of things. Not only can we hook this up to the rest of our main roads, something like that, right? But also this road over here goes up and into the rest of the core city and eventually goes to a highway exit for people to scoot around. But even so, this leaves our downtown core with only three road entrances and exits. So it's gonna be very spooky. But instead of focusing on this area too much, let's finish up this space here. Uh, we have a lake here, just as a reminder to me. We'll have the lake I don't know, somewhere. But up here mostly, again, is gonna be business stuff. So our big focus is zoning squares. And then this pathway here is actually a giant bike bridge that connects up to the cycling paths all throughout the rest of the city. So a lot of bicycle people are gonna scoot through and they will enter the city through here. And if they end up here, then we may as well make all these bicycle roads. So like, hey, maybe in Kib's super fantasy dream world, this will actually solve all the traffic down here, smile. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, no, mostly that's gonna be covered by this area here. This is our main downtown transit hub, where we have a subway and a metro line meeting up in the same spot. So everything kind of connects up down here. And from here, I don't know if we'll connect it down to this plateau, but we'll figure that out later. Right now, I am pretty dang excited because since this is our main downtown core, there is no holding back and I can use some of my favorite buildings like the Grand Library. I am a huge fan of kind of brutalist and modern architecture and this thing is the bee's knees, bud. As for the rest of this area, oh gosh, we have like a highway going through here. We have so much going on. I will try my darndest to make it work, I guess. I will have this go through here, connect up to that road. Maybe this area will turn into a park. 
Uh, this area right here would be perfect for a bank, a super bank. And banks make businesses happier, so everything here is going to be super jazzed. But now in this space, it's going to be a super busy with traffic. We're going to have like people walking, people driving, all that jazz. So we're going to fill that in with a park. And then over here, we're going to do the usual tree spam as we always do. And zoning wise, everything is offices. And then over here, everything is shopping. And now with a quick boop. It's done! Look at all those businesses. It's looking so busy. And it's kind of a cool transition point too. So we have the Turbo Financial District. Then it calms down a bit. And then it gets busy, busy, busy. And down here will be towers as well. I gotta admit though, this crazy section down here uh, was annoying. The library looks great, but just the angles and everything made trying to zone this not fun. And it's not really looking the best. But the real play is to get rid of the public transit over here and move it all over the place. Like maybe we could move this to over here and just throw it in the center of this district. Then we reorganize. Now things are looking good and the plan is coming together. So the monorail is where we had it here, except it's on a monorail road. I have managed to combine the monorail road with a park to make it look crazy good. And also I've brought it down into the quote unquote quieter zone, but over off in the corner here, so people at least have an option to take the monorail down. And as for the metro, well the metro lines now go to this huge crisscross station here. And now we can have it go down to like here, over down in like the core, and then we could even have an extra station down here. So we can loop all of the metro in around itself and have a bunch of stations down this way. And that gives people public transit options, so hopefully they don't drive around. Speaking of public transit, there is a ferry tram hub. So I changed out the old ferry stop in, and now we also get tram lines that go all the way down here, and I can have the tram lines enter the city. So they go past the monorail too, they'll go past the metro, wherever that ends up. And we can have all the public transit we want. And back to here, and finishing things up, I still don't really want a lot of stuff zoned on this road, because of how traffic's gonna be. So let's see if we can find another wonder or something to throw in here. What is this? Treasure hunt stuff? Pfft, and that's a bit much. All of these are a bit much, relax. Oh, but what are these? Just giant buildings that are nice and square and normal looking? This could work. Does it fit? Pretty much. We can just scoot around with mods and there we go. Oh, look at the foundation too. Oh, that's awesome. That'll work perfectly. Also, I would say this entire section is done. We already know the buildings that are gonna come in are going to look awesome. So I'm not concerned with it. This area is all gridded up and looking better too. We've got some fences in, extra trees, all that jazz. And now we are ready to start with the road work of the actual core here. You know, road work's the wrong word. I should say path work. Again, I'm really scared about traffic. So we're going to have as many walkable zones as possible. In fact, the main road through here is actually gonna be a walking path. And we're gonna be very conservative with the actual car roads here. They're mostly gonna be for like emergency vehicles to get through as fast as possible. Aside from that, it's not much to it. We're just trying to get all the zoning squares we can out of the place. Oh, oh wait, 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 no, 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 no. Super important, we have to get the pond park. This has to be in here. It's going there. Okay, happy. I just really like how this asset looks and I had to include it. Ooh, and speaking of things I must include, one of my favorite wonders in the game here is the theater of wonders. We can have that like maybe there. But uh, that is super, super nice. But then the main monument though is gonna be the observation tower. I love this building. It is my favorite one in the game. Every downtown core needs it. And it will go right there next to the coastline. Directly almost in line with this hotel. It's kind of creepy in a way, but no. It is like the perfect piece to cap off a city with. And with that, the monuments, the transit, 
it all just kind of falls into place at this point. Uh, metro lines, though, like I was saying earlier, we kind of loop them all together here. So with this cross one, we have some of the metros going down here, scooting around next to the waterfront, next to the monorail, and then back in on itself. And that connects with the entire rest of the city. And then the tram kind of scoots around a little bit too. I didn't want to do too much tram stuff though, because trams are kind of loud. And mostly down here, I want it to be residential. I want the waterfront to be enjoyed by as many locals as possible. Because we already have a ton of huge tourist areas across the city, including a huge mega mall district. And let's not forget the entire Holiday Island. So this piece, I want it to be for the people. And so they shall have it. Everything's hooked up. The monorails and stuff are good to go. Things are moving and grooving. And the city is ready to come to life. Now hopefully it looks good because I'm doing something a little weird too. We are going to be having the green city buildings all throughout here. Like these nice wooden frame type builds, maybe some like greenery on the roof. And I want it to look like this section. Because although the low rise type stuff is colorful and cute, this is a downtown core where tall buildings will reign supreme. So let's give it a minute and hopefully this was the right decision. Okay, not bad. It's coming together quite nicely. But the detailing is what always brings this city together. It's like rezoning stuff where you have to, going a little crazy with the surface painter, and adding in the tiny details to make your city feel alive. Then after a few hours of all that, the project is complete. With some pretty dramatic changes though. <laughs> Number one, the traffic is fine. Since it's such a walkable area, there's not a lot of cars scooting down. So no problems there, got rid of the roundabout, now it's just a normal intersection. And then, across the way, I got rid of that giant gaudy hotel. So this is the tallest building overlooking it all. Speaking of traffic, since we're closing things up here, looks like the average traffic flow in the city is 75%, but not because traffic actually is building up <laughs> too much but more so just because roads are being used very, very efficiently. And public transit wise, we have, oh my gosh, 8,000 people per week using public transit. Amazing considering we have a population of 90,000 people pretty much. But overall, it is the perfect walkable downtown core for a perfect walkable city. And with that, it is complete. Anyway, that's gonna be all here. And if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like and subscribe because we're gonna be starting our next City Skylines project soon.dm. But for now, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.